Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the part of the world where you are today. Welcome to another episode of the Prayer Word and Worship. And today, we'll be taking a prayer session against every conspiracy. Conspiracy against our life, conspiracy against our family, conspiracy against our career, conspiracy against our job, conspiracy in every form. Now, this prayer point came to my mind when I was reading through the account of Apostle Paul's conversion. And it is very, very important for us to know that irrespective of how good you are to people, irrespective of the philanthropic work you're doing, irrespective of the fact that you are always kind, you're always forgiving to people, there are still some people that your joy, your happiness, your success are infuriating. It's making them angry. And they will go to all lengths to plan against you, to plan to pull you down. And that is why, as children of God, we don't keep quiet. Because these enemies of our soul are not keeping quiet. Day and night, they enter into upper list. They enter into places to go and conjure evil against us. We are not afraid of them because we know we have the one who has the power in heaven and on earth in us. And that is why we pray, we decree, and we pray against every of their plan. Join me today. And I believe the Lord is going to answer every of our prayers today in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. After they've killed Stephen, they martyred him. And then Apostle Paul went to take letters so he can go to Damascus and bring down the Christians there. He says his plan was if we enter into all the synagogues, if we see any child of God, any apostle, anyone preaching in the name of Jesus. His plan was to go there and pull them down. And the Bible says while on the way to Damascus, a light shone on him. And then a voice said, why are you fighting against me? Why are you persecuting me? And he said, who are you, God? Who are you, Lord? I don't know. And God said, you are persecuting me. You cannot kick against the brick and think you're going to win. And then he became blind. He got to Damascus. They had to lead him by hand. That means God himself turned away the conspiracy led by Apostle Paul, who was named Saul before, against his people. I want us to start from there and say, Father, turn away every conspiracy against me. From their leader to the followers, Father, turn away every conspiracy against my soul. Turn away every conspiracy against my family. Turn away every conspiracy against my business. Turn away every conspiracy against my success. Turn away every conspiracy against my family. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray that you intervene, Lord, every conspiracy against my life and family, Lord. Lord, that we intervene and scatter them and turn them away. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. After that happened, God told Ananias, one of his disciples, and said, go to this place. Go and pray for this man. I have decided to use him. I have chosen him as a vessel unto the Gentiles. And he shall suffer many things for my sake. Apostle Paul received his sight. And the Bible says, immediately he went into the synagogue to start preaching Christ to people. And from there, it infuriated the heart of people. This man was coming here to Damascus to come and fight against these people. Only for us to see that he has joined them. What happened? From verse 20 to 25, I'm going to read. It says, immediately, he preached the Christ in the synagogues that he is the son of God. Then all who heard were amazed and said, is this not he who destroyed those who called on this name in Jerusalem? And has come here for that purpose, so that he might bring them bound to the chief priest. But Saul increased all the more in strength and confounded the Jews who dwelt in Damascus, proving that this Jesus is the Christ. Don't forget, he was a lawyer by profession. So you can imagine if a lawyer is defending a notion, if he's defending a particular view, you can imagine how much energy, how much wisdom is going to go into that. And that made them so angry. Now, after many days, the Amplified Version says, after about three years, the Jews plotted to kill him, but their plot became known to Saul. They plotted to kill him, but God revealed that to Saul. And they watched the gate day and night to kill him. Then the disciples took him by night and let him down through the wall in a large basket. When I read that passage, I'm like, why are you plotting day and night to kill somebody? But I'm not surprised because they believe that's the way they can silence the Christians in those days. And from here, it dropped in my heart. 
prayer against conspiracy. And I went to check it. What is the meaning of conspiracy? When we talk of conspiracy, it means a secret gathering, plotting of two or more people to arm or to do something unlawful. When somebody comes together with another person, it can be a human with a spirit being. It can be a human conjuring demons. And they have made a notion. They have made an agreement. They come into agreement and say, this is what we want to do against this person, against this family, against this home. That is conspiracy. And no conspiracy is good. Because their purpose, the intent and aim of every conspiracy is to cause harm is to cause problem. And today, we are focusing our prayer against any form of conspiracy. In any way, people are conspiring to make us or our family members sick or die untimely. In any way, they are planning for us to lose our job, for us to lose our means of income, for our businesses to crumble. We are praying against it today. In any way, they are planning for us to sorrow over any member of our family or for our family member to sorrow over us. We are praying against such. We are praying against every conspiracy, against the peace of our family, against the success of our family. The fact that your family is celebrating anniversary every year is making some people angry and they can go to all lengths. Unfortunately, some parents are planning against children. Children are planning against parents. Siblings are planning against each other. Conspiracy are going on. Why? Because people don't even love God and they don't love their neighbors. Today, we are praying against that. Many people are conspiring against children of God to make them lose their salvation or their spiritual standing. The fact that you have a, a testimony you have a testimony, you are standing for God. He's making some people angry. And they can go to all lengths. They can lie like they did to Stephen. Oh, we heard him saying blasphemy against God. And the same thing they did to Jesus Christ. We're going to pray against such. We are going to pray against such this evening. And I trust that the Lord that answered Daniel when they conspired against him. That fought for Mordecai when they conspired against him is going to fight for us and our home in Jesus' name. The same God that fought for Joseph when Potiphar's wife lied against him, conspired against him. The same God is still on the throne. The same God that fought for the three Hebrew men when they conspired against them for them to lose their faith, for them to lose their standing in God. That same God is on the throne and is going to answer us speedily today in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to read some passages of the Bible. Psalms 59 verse 1 to 5. Psalms 59 verse 1 to 5 says, Deliver me from my enemies, O God. Defend me from those who rise up against me. I want us to pray, Father, deliver me from my enemies, O God. Father, Lord, defend us from those who rise up against us in the name of Jesus. Father, deliver us from our enemies, Lord, and defend us from those who rise up against us in the name of Jesus. Father, deliver me, deliver my family, deliver my children, Lord, from our enemies, and everyone that has risen up against us to pull us down, to cause us to be shameful. Father, Lord, we pray that you defend us against them in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, defend us against our enemies in the name of Jesus. Father, deliver us from all our enemies. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Verse 2 says, deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloodthirsty men. They are thirsty for blood. They are thirsty for bad news. They are thirsty for bad things happening to people. We're going to pray, Father, deliver me from workers of iniquity. Deliver me from bloodthirsty men. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, deliver me, Lord, from bloodthirsty men. In the name of Jesus, Father, deliver me, Lord, from wicked men. Deliver my children from wicked men. Deliver my siblings from wicked men. Deliver my family from wicked men. In the name of Jesus, those that are planning to pull my family down, those that are planning to to pull my husband down. Father, Lord, deliver me from them. Deliver us from them by your mercy. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Still in Psalm 59, verse 3 says, For look, they lie in wait for my life. The mighty gather against me, not for my transgression, nor for my sin, O Lord. They run and prepare themselves through no fault of mine. I wait to help me and behold. 
awake to help me, Lord, for those that are lying in wait against me, for the mighty that has gathered against me. Father, arise, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I wait to help me, Lord. Father, arise in your mighty power to help me against those that lie in wait for me, the mighty that has gathered against me, that has gathered against my children, that has gathered against my husband. Father, Lord, arise to help us in the name of Jesus. Arise, O oh Lord, to help us in the name of Jesus against the mighty, against the influential, against the wealthy that has gathered against me, that has planned against me, that has conspired against me, that has put their resources together against my life, against my family, against my destiny. Oh Lord, arise. Arise for our sake. Father, arise for our sake. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Verse 5 says, You therefore, O Lord God of hosts, the God of Israel, I wait to punish all the nations. Do not be merciful to any wicked transgressors. Father, Lord God of hosts, the God of hosts, the mighty deliverer, our God of Israel, I wait to punish everyone that has gathered against us. Father, I wait, Lord, do not be merciful to any wicked transgressors. Father, do not be merciful to them. Do not be merciful to them. Awake, O oh Lord. Awake, O oh Lord, by your mercy. Awake, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, punish, Lord, all the groups that are gathered against my soul, that are gathered against my family, that are gathered against our life. Father, punish them. Pull them down in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Psalm 71 verse 10 to 12 says, For my enemies speak against me, and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together, saying God has forsaken him. Pursue and take him, for there is none to deliver him. There are many people that look at us and say, hey, this person is helpless. This person has no connection. This person has no money. This person has no intellect. This person does, is not knowledgeable. And because of that, they want to attack us. Because of that, they want to pull us down. Sometimes they say, oh, this person, you don't deserve this kind of blessing. You don't deserve this kind of family. You don't deserve this kind of promotion. And they are conspiring against us. Psalm 71 verse 12 says, oh God, do not be far from me. Oh my God, make haste to help me. We're going to pray. Father, do not be far from me in the name of Jesus. For all my enemies that are speaking against me, Lord, do not be far from me. For all my enemies that are speaking against my family, that are speaking against my home, that are speaking against your church. Father, do not be far from us in the name of Jesus, Father. Make haste to help me. Make haste to help me. Oh Lord, do not delay to help me in the name of Jesus. Do not delay to help us in the name of Jesus. Father, make haste to help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, make haste to help us. Make haste to help us in the name of Jesus. Father, make haste to help us. You are our very present help in times of need. Father, make haste to help us. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Psalm 83 verse 1 to 4 says, Do not keep silent, O God. Do not hold your peace and do not be still, O God. Father, do not keep silent concerning conspirators against my family, against my home, against your church, against our land. Father, do not keep silent oh Lord, do not hold your peace. Arise in your anger, Lord, and scatter every conspiracy against our life, against our family, against our destiny, against my children. Father, scatter them, every conspiracy against your purpose and plan for my life. Father, scatter it by your mercy. Scatter it by your mercy. Scatter every conspiracy against your purpose and plan for my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, scatter it. Oh Lord, scatter it. In Jesus' name we've prayed. For behold, your enemies make a tumult, and those who hate you have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against your people and consulted together against your sheltered ones. Another version says, against your treasured ones. We're going to pray, Father, everyone that has taken crafty counsel against us, that have taken crafty counsel together to pull me down, to pull my family down, arise against them in your power. Arise against them in your almightiness. Arise against them. Father, arise against them. Do not be silent, Lord. Do not be silent. Everyone that have taken crafty counsel together against me, against my family, against my children, against my home, against my ministry. Arise against them, Lord. Do not be silent. Do not be silent. Do not be silent. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Psalms 83 verse 14 to 18 says, As the fire burns the wood, and as the flame sets the mountains on fire, so pursue them with your tempest and frighten them with your storm. We're going to pray, Father. 
as many that are planning against my life, every conspirators against my life, against my family, in the name of Jesus. Father, as the fire burns to wood, as the flames set the mountains of fire, Father, pursue them with your tempest and frighten them with your storm, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, pursue them with your tempest, frighten them, oh Lord, with your storm, pursue them with your tempest, frighten them with your storm, pursue them, oh Lord, with your tempest and frighten them with your storm. Verse 16 says, Fill their faces with shame, that they may seek your name, O Lord. Fill the faces of our conspirators with shame. In the name of Jesus, every evil doers, everyone that has gathered against our blessing, against our glory. Oh, Father, Lord God Almighty, fill their faces with shame. Let them be confounded. Let them be brought to shame. In the name of Jesus, every of the conspirators, from the leader to the follower, let them be confounded. Let them be brought to shame. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, every of our conspirators, let them be confounded and dismayed forever. Let them be put to shame and perish in the name of Jesus. Every conspirators against my family, against my home, in the name of Jesus. Father, let them be confounded and put to shame forever in the name of Jesus. Let them be put to shame forever in the name of Jesus. Father, let them be put to shame forever in the name of Jesus. Every conspirators against my life, against my destiny, against my home, against my children, let them be put to shame forever. Let them be confounded by your mercy. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Verse 18 says that they may know that you, whose name alone is the Lord, are the most high over all the earth. Father, show your power to my conspirators. Show your power to those that are chasing me. Father, show your power to the enemies of my soul. Show your power to the enemies of my destiny. Father, show your power in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, the, the way you showed your power to Pharaoh, and he could come back and say, oh, you alone at God. The way you showed your power to Nebuchadnezzar, and he could come back and say, you alone at God. Father, show your power, Lord, to everyone conspiring against me, against my family, against my peace, against my love long life. Hey, in the name of Jesus. Father, show your power against them. Show your mighty power against them. Let them see your finger. Let them experience your hand. Let them experience your mighty hand. In Jesus' name we've prayed. We're going to pray. Oh Lord, do not let every plot of darkness and their agent to harm me or my family be hidden in Jesus' name. The Bible says they plotted against Saul. But the secret was revealed to Saul. We're going to pray, Father. Every secret of the kingdom of darkness, every plot of darkness, and their agent to harm me. Father, it will not be hidden. In the name of Jesus, it will not be hidden. Every plot, every plan of the kingdom of darkness to harm me, to harm my children, to harm my husband, it will not be hidden. In the name of Jesus, Father, it will be revealed. It will be revealed. In the name of Jesus, it will not be hidden. It will be revealed by your mercy. It will be revealed by your mercy. When they are plotting it, you will reveal it. When they are plotting it, you will reveal it. In the name of Jesus, it will not be hidden. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Father, let my heart, my mind, my spiritual eyes be open at all times to hear and understand every divine instruction to save me from evil, to save my family from evil in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, let my mind, let my heart, let my eyes, my spiritual eyes, Lord, be opened at all times to hear and understand every divine instruction to save me from evil in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, let my eyes, let my mind, let my spiritual eyes be open at all times, Lord, to hear and understand, Lord, divine instruction that will save me and my family from evil. In the name of Jesus, I decree my eyes is open, my ears are open to hear and understand divine instruction that will save me, that will save my family, that will save those that are close to me, my loved ones from evil. In the name of Jesus, every blockade, Lord, of my eyes, of my ears, I remove it today by your mercy. Every skill that is blocked in my eyes from sin. Oh, the divine instruction you are giving unto me that is blocking my ears from hearing from you to save me from evil, to save my family from evil. Father, Lord, I remove them. Today, in the name of Jesus, I, re I remove every blockade. I remove every wax in my ears. I remove every scale upon my eyes. I remove every veil upon my heart today in the name of Jesus. And I receive express understanding of the divine instruction to save me from evil. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. The Bible says they were waiting day and night, but the disciples came together 
and they put him down in a basket. He escaped. God gave them a way of escape. We're going to pray. Oh Lord, provide a way of escape for us. Every time the enemy is plotting against my family, against my life, against my home or children in the name of Jesus, Father, provide a way of escape for us, Lord. At every time the enemy is plotting evil against us, against my family, against my home, against your church, against our ministry, Father, Lord God Almighty, provide the way of escape for us in the name of Jesus and open our eyes, Lord. Open our mind open our ears to see the way of escape to discern the way of escape you have provided for us in the name of jesus father open my eyes lord open my mind lord open my mind lord open my husband's eyes open his mind lord to see the way of escape you have provided for us out of every danger in jesus name we've prayed father lord i decree i will not fall into the ambushment against my life in jesus name father lord i decree i will not fall into the ambushment of the wicked against my life in the name of Jesus, my children will not fall into the ambushment of the wicked against their life. Oh, my family will not fall into the ambushment of the wicked against their life. In the name of Jesus, oh, we will not fall into the ambushment of the wicked against our life. In the name of Jesus, oh, you will shine your light. You will shine your light, Lord, on our path, Lord. We will not fall into the ambushment of the wicked against our life. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we've prayed. Father, whatever pit they have dug for us, let the enemy fall into it themselves. In the name of Jesus, Father, let our enemy fall into every pit and problem they have set for me and my family in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, let the enemy fall into every problem, into every pit they have dug for us. Let them fall into it themselves. In the name of Jesus, every pit they have dug for us, every problem they have put down for us, let them fall into it. Father, Lord, the pit they dug for us, let them fall into it. As Emma was hung on the gallows he made for Mordecai, Lord. Let them fall into every plan, evil plan. They are plan for us. Let it fall on their head. We say back to sender. Every evil arrows that has been set against us, back to sender. Every evil plan that has been set against us, back to sender. It will not sit on our life. Not my life. Not my blood. Lord, not my destiny. Not my children's life. Not their blood. Not their destiny. Not my husband's life. Not his blood. Not his destiny. In the name of Jesus. Evil conspiracy. I say not on our head. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus Jesus name we pray. We scatter and consume every basket of sorrow and package of sorrow that has been targeted against my family. In the name of Jesus, I scatter and consume every basket of sorrow, every package of sorrow that has been planned against my family, against my children, against my home. In the name of Jesus, against our church, we scatter and consume every basket of sorrow that has been planned against our family. In the name of Jesus, we scatter and consume it by your mercy. We scatter and consume it by your mercy. In the name of Jesus, every basket, every package of sorrow targeted at my life and destiny, at my children and my husband, I scatter it and consume it by fire. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we've prayed. Let the plan of the enemy continually be frustrated over my family and home in Jesus' name. As you frustrated the plan of the enemy upon Apostle Paul, Father, frustrate, Lord, every plan of the enemy continuously against my life and my destiny. Father, frustrate it, wherever it is, in whichever way they come against me. Father, frustrate it in the name of Jesus. When they come in the morning, let it be frustrated. Then they come in the night, let it be frustrated. In the noon time, let it be frustrated. Every time they come against me, the enemy come against me. They come with their conspiracy. They come with their problem. Father, frustrate their plan. Frustrate their plan. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. We receive strength to scale over every obstacle the devil has put along our ways in Jesus' name. Oh, Father, we receive the strength to scale over every obstacle the enemy has put along our way. We receive the strength to scale over it. We make every obstacle our stepping stone. In the name of Jesus, we make every obstacle our stepping stone by the mercy of the Lord. We make every obstacle our stepping stone. In the name of Jesus, we make every obstacle our stepping stone. In the mighty name of Jesus, every obstacle set across our way, we make it 
our stepping stone. In the name of Jesus, you will make all things to work together for our good. In the name of Jesus, the bad, the ugly, the worst, we work together for our good. In the name of Jesus, you will confound the enemies. In the name of Jesus, with our testimonies, you will confound our conspirators with our testimonies. In the name of Jesus, you will confound them. You will confuse them. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. O oh Lord, send helpers of deliverance to rescue us promptly from the hands of our enemy. We see the apostles, they were able to rescue Saul from the hands of the Jews that planned against him. We're going to pray, Father, send helpers of deliverance to rescue us promptly from the hands of our enemies in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that we send helpers of deliverance to rescue us promptly from the hands of our enemy in the name of Jesus, Father. Send helpers of deliverance to rescue us promptly from the hands of our enemy in the name of Jesus, Father. Send helpers of deliverance, Lord, to rescue us promptly from the hands of our, of our enemies in the name of Jesus. Father, send your angels. Father, send your ministers to rescue us promptly from the hands of our enemy. In the name of Jesus, Father, send back up to us, Lord. Father, send rescuers to us, to rescue us from the hands of our enemies. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Oh Lord, as you use the stars of heaven to fight against Sisera and the sun stood still for Joshua and the grass also fought against the enemies of David. Father, Lord, let everything you have created fought, fight for our sake in the name of Jesus, Father. Let everything you have created, Lord, fight for our sake in the name of Jesus. Father, let everything you have created, the sun, the moon, the stars, the grass of the field, the air, Lord, let them fight against our enemies. Let them fight against our enemies. Everything you have created, the water you have created, let it fight against our enemies. In the name of Jesus, everyone you have created that has the breath of God in them, let them fight against our enemies. In the name of Jesus, let them fight against our enemies. In the name of Jesus, Father, we shield ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We shield ourselves with the blood of Jesus. And we say, Father, no evil shall come near us. No evil shall come near us. In the name of Jesus, Father, we decree, no evil shall come near us. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. For as many of us that are children of God that know God, God has answered our prayers. But for as many of us that don't know God, we need to go back to him. We need to give our life to him. If you have not given your life to Jesus, I want to encourage you today that you should give your life to Jesus. You can just say this prayer after me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I surrender my life to you and I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I believe he has died for me and he has the power to forgive all my sins. I renounce every of my sin and from today, I decide to live for you. I accept you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior and as from today, I will walk in your path. I will walk in the ways pleasing unto you. Thank you, Lord, for you've done it. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Why is it important for you to come to the side of God? Because the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, it says evil pursues sinners. So if you are a sinner, evil will automatically be pursuing you. Even if you pray these prayers, the prayer cannot come to pass upon your life. So I'm pleading with you, if you don't know Jesus or you have gone astray, come back to him today. And I can assure you, he's going to disgrace everyone that is fighting against you. Thank you for watching this. And I believe you will keep praying and praying. Don't keep quiet because the enemy is so stubborn. We have to continually fight against them continuously. And I believe the Lord will grant us victory in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed day ahead.